Welcome to the Accessible Instructional Materials presentation. My name is Debbie Gonzalez and I am the Accessible Instructional Materials Coordinator. All information in this presentation is based on our current understanding and is subject to change. Today I'm going to discuss what Accessible Instructional Materials are, the difference, if any, between EVI and AEM, how to determine AEM eligibility and AEM enrollment, requisitions, some tips on inventory control, how to return surplus materials, and important dates and resources. Districts are required by the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, to provide accessible versions of instructional materials to students who are either blind or unable to use printed material. If these materials are state adopted, they are provided at no cost to eligible students, and the cost of these accessible versions of state adopted materials is not deducted from the district's instructional materials allotment, or IMA. In 2011, during the first called session of the 82nd Texas Legislature, the IMA was created. The IMA allows districts to purchase instructional materials that are not state adopted. If the district purchases non-state adopted materials for use in the classroom, they are also responsible for purchasing materials in any of the required specialized formats such as Braille, large print, and audio. Districts may use their IMA through a disbursement or IDEA Part B funding to purchase non-state adopted accessible instructional materials. Examples of books that districts may adopt that are not considered state adopted would be Spanish books that are no longer in adoption or advanced placement materials which are no longer state adopted. If you need a book in any of the formats and it is not an in adoption book, check the Lewis database. Examples would be atlases for social studies or advanced placement books. You can search all formats by ISBN or title. The search will provide a list of books, the price, and where you may purchase them using a disbursement with IMA funds. If you're using IDEA Part B funds, it would be a different process and you would need to check with your special education department. Audiobooks are also provided free of charge for eligible students. There are two vendors you may contact that will provide the books as well as support to districts and teachers for their programs. Learning Ally has over 80,000 titles narrated by people who are experts in the field. Books included in their library are popular fiction, classic literature, textbooks, core curriculum content, educator resources, support materials, student engagement tools, study aids, and test preparation. Bookshare has over 450,000 titles using computer-generated speech and is free to any eligible student with a print disability. Members get unlimited access to textbooks, college prep and career titles, children's and young adult books, bestsellers, newspapers, and magazines. Students may also request a title to be added if it is not in the library. Experienced coordinators will recognize the initialism EVI. TEA recently changed EVI to AEM, Accessible Educational Materials. You may also see the initialism AIM. They all mean the same thing. How do you determine AEM eligibility? In order for a student to be eligible for accessible instructional materials, an admission review and dismissal, ARD, or a 504 committee must make the decision based on the student's specific need. The IEP, or the 504, is developed under the Rehabilitation Act, Section 504, the American with Disabilities Act, or the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA. Every year, superintendents report the number of students in their district who are eligible for accessible instructional materials to the Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired, TSBVI. TSBVI and TEA work to make sure that districts will be able to order those materials in EMAT. 
When EMAC closes in the spring, the number of students in each grade level is automatically rolled up to the next grade. Sometimes the enrollment for the district may be off for a variety of reasons. Students often enroll in the district after the annual enrollment in February, and the district must then update their enrollment. This is done by going to the district start page in EMAT and clicking on the AEM enrollment link in the AEM box. After clicking AEM enrollment, select the required specialized format such as Braille, large print, or audio, then click OK and click Request Enrollment Update. TEA staff will request more information by sending an email with a form to be filled out. This form will ask the district to indicate the format and the grade level needed for students in grades K through 8. For students in high school, please indicate either the MLC, multi-list code, or the course name as well as the format. Eventually, this form will be linked in EMAT without a need for an email from TEA. As soon as the form is submitted, TEA staff will update the district enrollment, allowing districts to order all grade-specific materials in the appropriate format for students in grades K-8 through and all course-specific materials in the appropriate format for students taking high school courses. Please note that if a student needs the materials, as determined by their IEP, that are at a different grade level from their enrolled grade level, you may order those materials. An example would be an 8th grade student who is taking Algebra 1. Ordering AEM in EMAT In order to create a requisition to order accessible instructional materials, go to the District Start page. In the AEM Requisition list, choose the appropriate requisition type, such as Braille or Large Print, and click Create New Requisition. Some things you may need to know. Annual requisition simply means that it is the first requisition of the school year. Supplemental requisition means any other requisitions you may make to order additional materials. Audio LD means audio materials for a student with a learning disability such as dyslexia. Audio VI means that you are ordering for a student with a visual impairment of some sort. If you are using digital materials in the classroom, you may order a subscription for students with a print disability using the AEM requisition. This will allow you to receive that subscription for eligible students free of charge without having to use the IMA funds as you do for regular classroom materials. Select the appropriate grade level tab, select the ISBN and version if applicable, enter the student requisition quantity, and click Save Work. Please note that the quantity entered cannot be greater than the eligible quantity. The final step is extremely important. Remember to return to the Summary tab and click Submit to TEA. If this is not done, your requisition will show it is in progress and has not been submitted. We cannot approve the requisition without this final step. Sometimes when districts receive accessible instructional materials, whoever receives the shipment is not sure exactly what to do with them. If you will include a contact name on Address Line 2 of the AEM Delivery Point on the Confirm Addresses page, it will help to facilitate delivery of the materials. Texas Administrative Code, Title 19, Section 66.1311A1 states that a requisition for special instructional materials shall be based on actual student enrollment to meet individual student needs. If you determine that there is a need for an additional set of materials for a student to use, such as one at home and one at school, please indicate this when you send TEA the enrollment update. We can provide for an additional set of materials when we update the enrollment. The Special Textbooks Redistribution Center The purpose of the Special Textbooks Redistribution Center, or STRC, is to house extra materials in Braille and large print. Districts may then utilize those surplus materials and students will be provided the textbooks in a timely manner. After a requisition is generated in EMAT, 
it automatically checks the STRC for any surplus materials. If the materials are there, they are usually shipped out that day or the next. If not, you will receive an email stating that the district AEM order assigned to the STRC has been rejected. This simply means that the STRC did not have the ordered material and the system will then request the material from the proper vendor. Please check the Receive STRC Shipments and Receive AEM Vendor Shipment links on the District Start page periodically to make sure that you have received all ordered materials into your inventory. Best Practices for Inventory Control You may access this page by going to Reports under AEM on the District Start page. You can select PDF or Excel format from the drop-down menu for Select Output Type at the top of the Reports page. You would then select Item Type or Format that you would like to review from the drop-down list and click Inventory Report. Inventory Report Details The Inventory Report will list all state-adopted instructional materials ordered by the district in the format you selected. If you see any quantities in the On Order Inventory column, check to see if there are any pending shipments from the STRC or another AEM vendor that would need to be received. Another helpful report is the Item Search. You may access this page by going to Reports under AEM on the District Start page. Item Search allows you to search for any state-adopted instructional materials. You can search and sort by MLC, ISBN, Type, Status, Title, or Publisher. I normally search by MLC. To display helpful information after you have searched for an item, click the Item Details icon. The manufacturing status and number of volumes are displayed on the Item Details page. For instance, this is a Grade 3 spelling book that has been brailled. It is complete with 54 volumes. This page will also display the standard replacement price per volume. For example, Volume 1 of the Braille 3rd Grade Spelling Book has a replacement cost of $321. The Inventory Browser is also a good resource to use. This page displays the history of an AEM order from start to finish. On the District Start page, click AEM Inventory Browser. Enter the multi-list code MLC and click Search to view the order history. As you can see, this report goes through the order history. This particular order for third grade spelling connections in large print was submitted on June 23, 2015. The STRC received the order on the same day and shipped the order on July 13, 2015. Surplus Materials Accessible versions of state-adopted print materials are provided free of charge to eligible students and as state property, the materials must be returned to the STRC when no longer needed. Go to the District Start page and click on Ship to the STRC. Keep in mind that the Ship to the STRC link will only be displayed if you have AEM in your inventory. STRC returns will be accepted between November 1, 2016 and March 31, 2017. Select the materials that you are shipping and EMAP will generate a packing list. Please remember shipments can only include materials listed on the packing list. Click in the checkbox next to the materials that you wish to return and then, cl then click Ready to Ship to STRC at the bottom of the page. If you will need the materials in a year or two for another eligible student, you do not have to return these materials. You may keep them until it is determined that you will no longer need them. Instructions are also posted on our website for your convenience. 
If you have surplus adoptive materials that are not listed when you click Ship to STRC, please check your inventory in EMAT. If any materials are not listed in your inventory, you may need to confirm receipt of the materials by using the Receive STRC shipment link, the Receive AEM vendor shipment link, or both. Please return only complete sets of AEM to the STRC. If state-owned accessible materials are lost or damaged, the district must contact TEA and replace them at district expense. Please do not return used consumable materials. Do return unused consumable materials. You may contact Leanne Lee at TEA for assistance in returning the unused consumable materials. Packages that consist of only consumables are removed from district inventories each year. Returning out of adoption materials. Please return out of adoption braille and large print materials when you no longer need them and they're no longer in use. These materials need to be packaged separately from in-adoption materials and the boxes labeled out of adoption. Please contact Leanne Lee at TEA in order to obtain a shipping label or bill of lading for the materials. New material for the 2017-18 school year. Proclamation 2017. Proclamation 2017 included languages other than English, LOAT, Career and Technical Education, CTE, Algebraic Reasoning, and Statistics. TEA received 1,208 statements of intent to bid. 558 products were reviewed in the summer of 2016. The review panels found 500 products eligible for adoption and the State Board of Education ultimately adopted 492 of those products. Additional information may be found on our website. Future Proclamations In November of 2016, the State Board of Education issued Proclamation 2018 for special topics in social studies. Proclamation 2019 may be issued in the spring of 2017. It would include English and Spanish language arts and reading for grades K through 8 and personal financial literacy. Proclamation 2020 may be issued in the spring of 2018 and would call for materials for high school English language arts and reading and pre-K systems. Important dates to remember. November 1st, 2016, the STRC opened. In February and March of 2017, the IMA and Tech Certification Form will become available. March 31st, 2017, the STRC will close. The STRC will then not accept any surplus materials until November of 2017. April 3rd, 2017, EMAT will close for the 2016-17 school year. May 1, 2017, EMAT will open for the 2017-18 school year. May 15, 2017, please order Braille materials by this date to ensure delivery by the first day of school. In June and July of 2017, the IMA amounts will be announced. July 31st, 2017, please order large print and audio materials by this date to ensure delivery by the first day of school. September 1st, 2017, IMA funds for districts will become available. There are many helpful resources on the TEA AEM website. This page includes instructions for ordering and returning materials. It also includes information and links to the Texas Education Code, the Lewis Database, Learning Ally, Bookshare, and the National Center on Accessible Educational Materials. AEM contact information. Leanne Lee is our Accessible Instructional Materials Specialist. Debbie Gonzalez is the Accessible Instructional Materials Coordinator. 
Lori Miller is the Director of Distribution and Accessibility. Kelly Calloway is the Senior Director for Instructional Materials. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or need assistance of any kind. The Instructional Materials email is instructionalmaterials at tea.texas.gov and our phone number is 512-463-9601. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.